Dan Brevard was eating his lunch and minding his business when he heard someone scream that a woman had just collapsed. As I came across uh, this woman, she was lying on the floor, wedged between a, a couple uh, tables, and she was in the middle of a seizure. When Lynn's seizure had stopped, the crisis appeared to be over. I looked down and realized that she had no color in her face. That's why I realized she wasn't breathing, put on her back. She, of course, didn't have a pulse. And uh, I made sure that, again, that 911 had been called. And then I started CPR. Brevard performed CPR for 10 minutes. Paramedics arrived and continued CPR for another 24 minutes until finally Lynn's heart started to beat again. Couldn't be more thankful to Dan and the EMTs who didn't give up. Lynn spent eight days in the hospital. Doctors still don't know why her heart stopped that day. Well, they did give me a defibrillator, so if it happens again, I'm, I'm safe. Um, and it will shock the heart back into rhythm. To see Lynn today, it is hard to believe that a little more than a month ago, she was lying on a cafeteria floor with no heartbeat for more than a half hour. What is your reaction to her miraculous recovery? It really is a miracle. Um, the fact that she had CPR given for 10 minutes and that the squad, the actual men who were there, who worked on her, um, everything was in place to help her survive. It's very moving. I asked Lynn what thoughts came to her mind when she first heard that Mayor Collins suffered a cardiac arrest. The first thing I thought of was Wow, you know, I was in the right place at the right time because Dan was there and he could do CPR right away. Whereas the mayor, I believe it was, there was a bit of time before that was started and every second counts. Mm -hmm.